directing a scene between two characters is about their relationship, whether uh, Nancy's playing um, an older woman who is reconnecting with her ancestral language, the, the language of her childhood, or with an ape who has no shared language with us. That in either case, it's about getting, you know, I mean, and this is what you bring to the room, which it's the essence of this person, of this creature, of, of this awareness in the world. Totally um, innocently aware of her atmosphere, her surroundings. She keeps saying about, I breathe, I feel a breath, I feel a breeze. I feel this leaf when he, she, I love that the ape is referred to by well, certain we know she's a she because it's you. Right. But the zoo goers. The zoo goers keep saying he. he. Yeah. Because apes look male, male to us, which is interesting. She's very centered yep. in her universe, and I think she's trying to block out the sounds of the zoo goers and people who are visiting her and the lights that are flashing in her enclosure to just. Be. And, and and so you can imagine, I mean, that's, I mean, it's such a privilege to get to direct Nancy in this because then it becomes about how this creature that is just being connects with someone who's striving to be. I find myself now thinking more like the way the ape in this play thinks, because that's what happens to me in plays, is they start to complete take over. So you were teasing me about my addiction to email, which is utterly real. I have lately, since really just the last few days of rehearsal, I view the email the way you, as the ape, view the lights in the enclosure. There's this wonderful thing about getting inside this play and having the play get inside us, particularly with the character of the ape. Because people have asked me, well, how will we know she's an ape if she's not in a gorilla suit? And it's like, of course you know. I know. We know. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. So Cleva, like the ape, has a different language. A language that has been lost to her. She says she hasn't said some of these words in 50 years. Right. And in reconnecting with the language, she reconnects with who she really is. And there's an openness to this world that is already changing me in, in terms of empathy and patience. And, and, a, and, a, and a, it's a very optimistic vision of human nature, actually. I hope the take away the importance of, of quieting the things around you. The noise. Like a good swim in the ocean.